Hello guys, welcome back to the channel as I am going to give you my review on Everton as they are sitting in the bottom three I mean really Frank should have gone a bit sooner no disrespect to him but he he needs to go to a lower league team because I think Chelsea was too much of a big job for him, and so was Everton. I mean, Everton, I never thought in a million years would be in the relegation zone, battling to stay in the league. And uh, I don't know if they'll stay up. That's what makes it so historic. I don't know if Everton are going to stay up. Their biggest problems is their owners in the chairman. They have, they've got rid of Rich Arlison. They keep spending money on players that are past the sell-by date. They get players that are like in the 30s. Rafa gets some Ron, Salomon Rondon. It's absolutely terrible. And then you don't replace Rich Arneson with a very good player. Anthony Gordon's a good player, but I've heard that he's going. But Everton. Um, with talks, I've heard that Sean Dyche is going to Everton. I'm not sure about this one. But obviously, Connor Cody will wish he had stayed at Wolves. Um... Obviously, Everton are in a mess. Their, their form is poor. They're lacking confidence. They're not scoring goals. They're very leaky at the back. And if I was an Everton supporter, I'd be a bit frustrated because obviously... Everton, you wouldn't expect to be fighting for relegation. You'd expect them to be top six or top ten or something like that. The best time, the best Everton side was when when Carl Ancelotti was there because they came so so close to being Europe, but as soon as he well, as soon as he basically went, he went down the hill. Basically, since David Moyes went, really. They've, they've spent a lot of money on players that aren't good enough for the club. And I, I honestly, this is me being honest to Everton. It's unfortunate, but... Unless you can start picking up wins, I don't see you staying up. I mean, them owners, you need new... Well, you don't need new owners. You just need to bring in right players. And this manager, whoever they do have next. I know it's rumoured to be Sean Dutch, but I don't know whether it's true or not. But you've got to... You've got to pick... This next manager has got to pick up wins to get you fans right behind them. You were behind them. You can blame the owners. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter who spends the money. You can spend loads of cash. It'd be absolutely terrible. I mean, look at look at your rivals, Liverpool, for example. Since lost Marnie, they've gone downhill. But yeah, you guys, you've got to, you've got to not get players in the thirties because I think the limited age that Everton should get a player for is twenty eight years old, not in the thirties. Like you got you got players that aren't good enough for the club that need to go. And I honestly, I honestly. Hope for Everton and the Everton supporters that things start to pick up. You start to win games. 
you don't fight for relegation again. It's not a nice feeling. Because I'm a Stoke fan and I've had that for three years. Battling for relegation. It isn't a nice feeling. I'll tell you that. But Everton fans. My message is just back your team. I know it's a difficult one. But I think you will just about stay up. Just about. And I honestly hope you do stay up. And I hope the things improve at the football club. And thanks for watching, subscribe and comment below and like.